I was kind of going back and forth between Cornell and ESF, you know, a very large private school and a very small um, public school. The reason I chose ESF was because it had that small campus feel that I wanted, you know, only about 300 um, students per class, and it had that private school feel of SU. So I could go over to SU's campus and get lost anytime I wanted and use all their resources like the games and the gym and even take their classes while at the same time, you know, having my love of science and still having that small, really personal feel of ESF. Well, I only applied to six schools when I was applying to college senior year, and I had it narrowed down to two of the schools I got into. I was between Cornell University and ESF, and I chose ESF because it was smaller, and I got the vibe that it was more of like that small school, bit like family type atmosphere, and I, it was also cheaper. <laughs> I'm not going to lie and say that didn't factor in. And the reason I found it was through snail mail. I got the little postcard in the mail, it just had the SUNY ESF logo and it said improve your world and I knew they wanted to do something with the environment so I said I like that and I looked further into it and they sent another brochure with all the different majors and things and then it just, it just felt right. I chose ESF because I was interested in something in relation to environmental and something in relation to communication and I was looking into it and found out that ESF had one of the best environmental studies programs in the country. and. That was a huge deal. In addition, it's such a small environment and everyone here knows each other. Everyone smiles at you when you walk by. Even if they don't know you, they say hello to you and smile and they want to get to know you. Just that friendly, welcoming environment and in addition to having so many opportunities both at ESF and SU and just getting all the classes you need and learning everything. ESF is just the perfect school. <laughs> I applied to a lot of different schools and fortunately I did get into all my opportunities, um, all the schools I wanted to. And when taking the uh, accepted students tours, I was asking about research opportunities because I did a lot of research in high school. And um, I believe it was the University of Buffalo had a, an amazing um, earthquake lab that I would just love to do research in. And I asked, you know, what are the research opportunities for undergrads? And they said, oh, undergrads aren't allowed to use this. Yet it was part of the tour. So we were told about it, but I was explicitly told that undergrads have no ability to do research. I was at a foundation meeting not very long ago, and I was talking to Dr. Nomura, who is one of, uh, he's a brilliant chemist uh, making bioplastics. And we both agreed that the research opportunities and the opportunities for undergraduate students at ESF cannot be found anywhere else. We have students that do more advanced work as an undergrad than many graduates, I believe, experience at other schools.